Hello everyone, welcome back. So um, we already created our static website and uh, we pushed it to GitHub. Uh, so the final step is to uh, create an account in um, uh, a hosting uh, site called Netlify. And we need to tell Netlify to pull all the um, source code or the HTML files we have it in Net, uh, GitHub uh, to uh, Netlify and host it for us. Again, um, uh, Netlify offers a lot of uh, paid options as well. Uh, but uh, for what we are trying to do, I think uh, the free services is more than sufficient. So let's, uh, I'm going to do this uh, in uh, real time. So if, uh, if you run into issues, I will try to figure it out, okay? Um, so let's go to app.netlify.com. Uh, so Netlify doesn't support uh, Proton Mail, uh, which is uh, what we uh, used uh, since the very beginning. Uh, so I went and create uh, uh, created an email uh, for me in, in Gmail. So I'm going to use that uh, for trying to register uh, with uh, Netlify. So let's let's give it a shot. Oh, we need to sign up. I'm popular. Okay. Okay. Okay, it's saying, uh, let's see if we got an email. So I think, yeah, we got an email from Netlify. So let's uh, verify the email to make uh, them happy. Awesome. So I think um, we got that uh, result. I don't know if, um, again, let's see. So we want to pull it from GitHub, right? So again, we, we were here. So if you go to app.netlify.com, um, so this will be the default site if uh, if it uh, lands you in uh, somewhere else uh, just uh, make sure you're on the sites uh, menu here right so let go to um so we are trying to um pull it from github and then um, we are trying to authorize netlify okay and this is github hmm, interesting Oh, we need to log on with email. I'm not sure if it's trying anything or not. Let me close this. Uh, oh, okay, perfect. I think it uh, it took some time. Uh, yeah, I didn't make any changes. Uh, basically, um, you're just um, trying to give access. So make sure all uh, repos is checked here or I mean if you want to um, so remember the one we created the demo blog site uh, but I'm just going to give it all rep repositories and say install. Uh, it is asking for the password so let's see. Okay I think we are good there. Okay, so I did figure out um, the static site. And then are we going to just say deploy site? Um, this is uh, one of the uh, beautiful pieces of technology, like uh, how uh, we use uh, free open source stuff, uh, kind of open source, not fully open source, uh, to create uh, something um, which um, serves our purpose. So I think it um, when it deploys, it, it creates um, some unique names or uh, something like this. So let me uh, open, copy this link and open it here. Hola, the website is coming up. Hmm, it's interesting because I don't see the other links over here. Um, sometimes it, it takes um, a bit to um, create those links uh, if not um, we need to check and see what is going on but um, let's do one thing so you can uh, change this name uh, so that let me go to the domain settings 
and uh, let's go to options and then edit site name so let's give it a friendly name so uh, this is demo block i don't think it will be available but let's give it a shot uh, so okay i'm gonna put my name to the end so i think that looks good so let's give this a shot one more time okay my email id looks i think it is not right my email id is already there um so let's see the blog it is not taking into account uh, the changes um, so let's see how the um, the local site looks like so let me go back here and then um, so if you go so I mean you must be um, an expert in these uh, by now so this is to run it locally and then see how the website looks like so again it is running on this link here I'm going to show okay uh, this does have all the links so let me um, push it one more time uh, so I'm going to do Hugo minus D public my blog site okay it created um so I'm going to go to public Okay, so this is where we need to do git add uh, star git commit minus m again we saw this uh, in the last video in detail uh, it says nothing to comment because we didn't change anything ah, that's interesting so let's check one more time uh, to see what is going on here so let's refresh it here demo blog raj hmm that uh, is a little bit frustrating so why is it not showing up um, the rest of the tags oh you know what i know what the problem is uh did you have been able to guess what the problem is okay let me show it to you so this is an interesting uh thing um so let's go back uh to the site again and uh let's do this so go to the content and um, go to contact me and index so the draft is set to true so you got to uh, remove that and then save it and let me also go to uh, the other one which is about and let's uh, remove from here save it and uh, let's do one more let's do uh, videos and let me remove from there as well so if it's in the draft mode um, so you don't want it to show it in the uh, real website and that's where the problem is so the static um, when you generate the site uh, it uh, removes uh, from uh, creating those static sites so we have to do this one more time you go minus t and it's public my blog site and then i go to public my so once you start uh, getting the flow, I mean, it is easy to create uh, new content um, using the same steps. So again, you need to do git add star comment minus uh, test. And uh, so you see the changes now uh, because it did uh, uh, create more pages here. So now git push origin master. So what this is doing is, is pushing uh, from your local site uh, to github which is online and um, the cool thing is you don't have to change anything with netlify so netlify whenever it changes a change uh, when cc some changes on github uh, it automatically pulls it uh, from github and shows it on your website so this is we don't want this anymore so let's say if we get any luck here awesome so this is how um hmm. this is nice okay so this is the page and we don't have any tags because I don't think uh, we uh, we pulled those sites uh, which we, where we added the tags. So about me is there and uh, contact me is also there. Videos is also there and blog is there. Okay. Um, so, um, so one additional step if you want to do is uh, if you don't like this, 
um, domain name uh, you can easily change it right um, and I will actually quickly show it to you so the place to go and change it is add custom domain and you can add your domain here um, so if you if you want to know how to do this uh, please let me know uh, but it's it's pretty simple so you just have to um, um, put your domain name in here you have to purchase a domain name in uh, GoDaddy Namecheap of one of those uh, hosting sites and then just uh, type in the domain name here and then um, so the next step it will give you the um, they call it the name server so once you get that uh, you go to GoDaddy or Namecheap and uh, you can uh, you can point it to this site so it's pretty simple and if you if you need help with that let me know I can create another video uh, before I actually go let me show you one more um, one more um, uh, actually you know what uh, let's let's do it in the next video uh, let me show you how you can uh, easily add a blogs to your website okay and this is the part um, I, I just love about this uh, uh, tool set uh, WordPress it was a pain um, I mean you have to work with HTML adding images is a pain uh, but I'll show you an awesome way uh, where uh, this uh, this makes it uh, so simple to add a blog to your site. So anyway, I think I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, we will um, look um, on the final uh, video uh, in my next one. Okay, so stay tuned and I'll talk to you soon.